Oh, uh, hey, good morning. Welcome back to the main pilot. Well, it's been a few weeks. The weather's been terrible. It's early morning. We're going to go do some flying. Don't know what we're doing yet, but we're going flying, and that's all that matters. Okay, trim is set, master's on, mags are on, a few pumps off, strobe is on. Alright, flight controls are free and correct. Alright, let's see how we, this goes this morning. Bit of a traffic, white and blue, ultra late, on the go, 2 4, bit of a raining in the pattern. It's a beautiful morning. It is smooth. It's a little hazy. I'm not sure if this is from the fires in Canada or not, but... Engine temps look pretty good. It is a little hazy out, though. Don't know how far we're going to go, but we're fine, and that's all that matters. Ultra light, seven, left cross wind, two, four, better for... Better for traffic, ultra light, left down wind, two, four, better for... Yeah, I don't know. This haze is all from the smoke or not. Not sure. Not a bad morning though. We'll start off with our uh, ceremonial pattern. Man, a lot of people have been asking about uh, power off and all that stuff. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do one, a couple of those, see how that goes.
Bit of a traffic, waiting below to right, right cross the T4 bit. It's good to be up again. The weather is just like, I can't. Windy, windy, windy when it's nice out, and it's just been raining and raining and raining. So, sorry I haven't put out any videos, but can't fly when it's raining and windy. Not in this thing, anyway. That bit of a traffic wind blew all the way. Just turning for midfield or crosswind for two four bit of a. 700 feet. Let's see what it'll do if I pull the power back right midfield. See what we can do. Simulated engine out, ultra light, which is for a bit of a... Alright, so we're going to get our best glide here. Power is pulled back. I'm going for 50, which is what they say the glide speed is. So this is just simulating uh, if we ever had an engine out. So we're trimming. So it does drop pretty quickly. So we're going to do a quicker turn than we normally would, but we're staying with our 50. And we would have made it no problem. Oh yeah, we would have made it. Well, that was at midfield. I haven't done a whole lot of that with this plane, so maybe we'll do a couple more. It does sink pretty quick. EGT still went pretty good, CHTs are good. We are getting full RPM. Yeah, bit of a traffic, ultra light, turn in a left cross wind, a T4 bit of a... Yeah, bit of a traffic, ultra light, turn in left down wind, T4 bit of a... I mean, as you can see, if I would have an engine out in this, I don't really have a whole lot of options here at Biddeford. <laughs> so, most likely we would be going into trees, which I'm sure would not be fun, but the end outcome is that we survive, right? Hopefully. Alright, so we're at like 7.50 right now. We'll pull the power back again. We're going to hold that 50 miles an hour. We'll trim it out. There's 50. So it's looking like it's about 400 feet a minute or so that it wants to drop. There's our 50. Yeah, 4, 450. Bit of a traffic, ultra light, simulated engine out, 2-4, bit of a...
All right, we're holding our 50, 50 knots here. Miles per hour in this. Man, you still have a good amount of time here. I mean, I have no power on right now. We're just holding that 50. It's about 500 feet a minute. So if you're at a thousand feet, you do the math. So it's stalled at about forty five. But so there you go, simulated engine out. You still have a good amount of time, but you better start looking. Bit of a traffic. White and blue ultra lights on the go in the grass. T4, bit of a. It is a really nice morning though, it is really buttery smooth. This is what we've been waiting for. Well, let's just climb up and see what happens. There's 1,500. We'll bring it back to 5,000 RPMs. We're clear of all obstacles in this area. Altitude is your friend, for sure. I didn't really have a plan this morning, so we'll just go out, do a little flying, take advantage of the light winds this morning. Because you don't know when I'll be able to go again. <laughs> Looks like rain the rest of the week, so we'll just do some flying this morning. That's downtown Bedford. getting like 48 knots right now. Ground speed, that is. There's 50. So if something were to happen here, we would definitely be turning right back to the airport, of course. We have some options to the left. We had that. Uh, boy, it's nice and warm up here that we could go to. We got Class Charlie airspace right over that river, so we have to be careful. My four flight is warning me. But it's 1,500 and below. So we are at 1,450, so technically we are below Class Charlie airspace, so we really don't have much to worry about. as far as uh, an airspace violation.
A uh, bit of a traffic way, but also I thought I won my final for T4, bit of a... Anyway, we'll just go in and do a little pass. Just having a little fun this morning. Just getting up and do what I love to do. Eventually we'll get out, go some places here this summer. Well, there's 2,000 feet. That's the highest I've ever been in this thing. Pretty cool. I have a friend. When I always say I have a friend when I'm flying an ultralight, it's my friend and Matt. Check him out on YouTube. He went up to 10,000 feet in an ultralight. And then, he killed his engine. And, safely, flew it down to the ground. It's pretty freaking cool. I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> Traffic all choice, turn it in a left downwind, two four bit of Bit of a traffic, white and blue all two white beast, the final two four bit of it. Well, there's the power to idle again. Doing a little slip here, as we're kind of high. Just doing some practice maneuvers. We're losing about seven, eight hundred feet a minute right now. Maintaining our 50 knots. I haven't done too many slips in this plane. This is still a new plane to me. I'm still learning every time I fly it, so. Hey, the lights are working today. I wanted to go fly around that little area down there. It might be a good day to do that because there's like nobody out here. It's like this little swampy area here. At the end of the runway. See if there's any deer around. There usually is a bunch of deer around here. Get up in traffic, ultra light. Uh, there's some 360s at that perch end of 06. Get the traffic.
Talk about treetop level. Pretty cool. I don't do enough of this. There's like a beaver. Beaver dam right there. Beaver house, whatever you want to call it. Drop right in here. Because we can do that. Pretty cool. Then we'll put it in the grass. There's 40, it wants to, yeah, there's 35, and there she goes. About 35, she'll stall. That was pretty cool. A bit of a traffic all choice, turn it in a left downwind, two four, a bit of a... Thanks for watching. Yeah, hopefully the next couple flights will be getting a little bit further. But uh, that was pretty cool. We got to 2,000 feet, did a couple simulated engine outs. Like I said earlier, check out M Matt and check out my buddy uh, Aviation Adventure Boys. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. See ya.